You, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. What's going on everybody? Benji Kaiser here today talking about the Dell XPS 15. This is going to be a graphic designer's review of the Dell XPS 15. I'm going to spin in a little bit about the MacBook Pro because I'm sure that's a big reason why a lot of y'all are here at this video. I myself used a MacBook Pro for many years and I just recently switched to the Dell XPS 15 and I want to walk you through why I made that switch the benefits of using the Dell XPS 15 and just a user experience using the Dell XPS 15 as a graphic designer. So let's jump on into the content, but before we do, if you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out daily videos in the graphic design industry, helping you out with tech tips and just some insights into the graphic design industry. All right, now let's jump into talking about the Dell XPS 15. First and foremost, let's talk about build quality. That is something that I was really concerned about because I'd owned a MacBook Pro for many years, and if we all know anything about Mac, they pride themselves in the build quality of their machines. Well, I have to say the Dell XPS 15 does not disappoint. It has an all aluminum outer chassis and a carbon fiber interior with a keyboard. This is amazing because it looks soft and I was a little concerned that I would scratch it when I first got it, but it's held up. I actually like it better than the aluminum interior of the MacBook Pro because if I have a ring or a bracelet on or any sort of metal that I have around my computer, it often made this really bad like scratchy noise with the MacBook Pro and I was also concerned about scratching that aluminum surface. With the carbon fiber, it's so strong, it's so resilient, I've had no problems and it still looks brand new months and months into use. As far as the outside aluminum is considered, that is extremely durable as well. I have not scratched that either and I'm pretty rough on my computers, I hate to admit it. But when I had my MacBook Pro, I found that it scratched and dented rather easily, especially if you get it up against another piece of metal or some kind of sharp edge, you would end up denting or scratching the surface. And I've yet to see that with the Dell XPS 15. So build quality guys is fantastic. As we're moving through this video, I'm curious what your thoughts are on the MacBook Pro versus the Dell XPS 15. Are you a Mac guy like I was and are disappointed by the options that you have when you go to select a Mac or Apple product and you're almost forced into selecting a Dell product like for me, the Dell XPS 15. I'm also curious, what other computers you would recommend to be in competition with the MacBook Pro and the Dell XPS 15? I thought it was my best pick because the build quality most resembled the MacBook Pro and I was really confident in the aluminum build and the carbon fiber. It just felt strong, it felt sturdy, it felt quality in my hands. All right, now let's talk about the hinge, the way the screen opens and closes. It's a little more snug than the MacBook Pro. It takes a little bit more to get it opened and closed. You can't exactly do it with one hand, but that's something I like. It's firm, it's solid, and it's gonna last. With the MacBook Pro, I found that the screens would get loose. They would end up wearing out because they were easy to open, but then they would continue to get easier and easier to open to where that hinge would wear out. I don't see that happening with the Dell XPS 15, so that's something I'm really satisfied with. And as we're moving through this video, if you're curious about the exact model I got, you can check that out in the description below. That is an affiliate link and it does help out this channel. It gives me a small commission at no extra cost to you, and I really appreciate that. It helps keep bringing out those videos to you to help you out in the graphic design industry. While we're talking about the hinge and the screen, let's talk more about the screen. So it's a 4K display with Adobe RGB color space. This is extremely color accurate, extremely sharp. It's a vivid screen. I am truly blown away by the screen quality. It's, it's fantastic. As far as using Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Illustrator, I find that the colors are almost exactly to when I go print or when I post it to something digital online. So if you're curious about color, as far as the accuracy, it is extremely accurate. Let me give a quick side note to something that I do like better about my previous MacBook Pro, and that would be the spacebar and the trackpad. Somehow, Mac has mastered the trackpad. It is so smooth, you can do graphic. I actually did, I actually went through my entire graphic design undergrad and master's degree using only the trackpad on my MacBook Pro. That would not have been the case with my Dell XPS 15. I have had to buy a mouse because it's just not as responsive, it's not as intuitive. And so I'd say that would be the one downside to the Dell XPS 15 versus the MacBook Pro is that trackpad. Also, you gotta make sure you hit that space bar really good. Whenever you're like using the hand tool to like drag around a project, if you just get the corner of the space bar, it doesn't really grab that hand tool and so you'll kind of miss sometimes. Honestly, those are like my two annoyances and critiques, which 
I can totally overcome with a mouse and a little bit more attention with where I hit my finger on the space bar. So not a big deal, but it's something I want you to be aware of as far as graphic designers are concerned. This computer also has an incredible battery life. With the new Kirby Lake processor, I know some of the newer ones now have the Coffee Lake, i9 and all that, but I have the one with the i7. So with that processor, the battery life is fantastic. It does a really good job managing those preferences and settings to where it doesn't run your battery life down fast at all. I can do some video editing for two and a half, three, four hours and not burn up all my battery, which for video editing is very impressive. If I'm just doing graphic design, I can get a good six to seven and a half hours out of my battery with a lower screen brightness. So the computer is built very well. The processor manages the power well. All right, now let's talk about the specs and the components so we know why this is a good graphic design computer. What makes this computer equipped to be your graphic design computer? Well, the first thing we're gonna look at is the RAM. It comes standard with 16 gigs of RAM. I personally upgraded that to 32 gigs of RAM because I'm focusing a lot on video editing lately. So I'll give you an example. I ran Premiere Pro, Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, and I was uploading a video to YouTube all at the same time, and I noticed very little performance decrease. That is absolutely incredible. I, I mean, that's to me, that's been unheard of until getting this computer. So this computer between the processor and the graphics card, which we'll talk about in a minute, and the RAM, it is, is a well-built computer to handle your graphic design needs. All right, now the graphics processing unit. The model I got came with the GTX 1050. I aimed for the 1050 because I'm doing video editing and it was very important for rendering times, load times, save times, etc., for me to have that power. That's where a lot of the video processing will take place. So if you're gonna get into that, the 1050 is a great entry point. The last thing we're gonna look at as far as the specs is concerned is the solid state hard drive. I recommend a solid state hard drive for graphic design computers. I'm gonna give you two reasons. One, speed, two, reliability. So let's talk about reliability. A solid state hard drive has no moving parts. A standard SATA drive has moving parts. The moving parts tend to wear out, they tend to crash. Hard drives tend to die. So when it comes to getting a standard, so when it comes to getting a hard drive for graphic design, I recommend the more reliable solid state hard drive. I've seen my friends' computers crash with standard hard drives and there was nothing they could do about it. They either turned the project in late or couldn't even turn it in at all and received a failing grade for their project. Think about that if you're working with clients. If you can't deliver a project on time, that is not gonna be professional. You're gonna end up in a precarious situation with that client. So solid state hard drive, I think is extremely important. Reason number two is speed. So with no moving parts, the solid state hard drives are far faster. So that's gonna allow your programs to boot faster, your saving times, your load times, all of the things that boost your efficiency as a graphic designer. Another thing that's important to me is listening to music, listening to podcasts. And I know, I'm sure a lot of you graphic designers are feeling the same way. You love your tunes to zone into your creativity. And that's one thing you're gonna need to think about. You're gonna either need to get some headphones or some external speakers because the speakers in the Dell XPS 15 are not my favorite. They're mounted underneath the computer, kind of at the front near where your hands rest on the keyboard. And they're just, really quiet, honestly, and they don't have a lot of bass, they have low treble, so they're not the best quality, and you're gonna wanna invest in either headphones or some external speakers. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is customization. That's the really cool thing about the Dell XPS 15 versus the MacBook Pro, and it's one of the leading causes that led me to go for the Dell XPS 15. You can fully customize your Dell XPS 15. Not a problem, you can switch out the hard drive, the RAM. I personally swapped out the RAM from 16 to 32 gigs like I was mentioning earlier. And I've highly considered swapping out the solid state hard drive for one that clocks a little bit faster. That is really cool because the MacBook Pro is no longer offering that. If you buy a computer with 16 gigs of RAM, you're gonna be with 16 gigs of RAM for the entire time you own that computer. Same with the hard drive, same with the battery it is no longer customizable. So that is one thing that I say, Mac, like, what are you doing? Why are you pulling that away? That was an option that we as creatives, we as kind of techie people loved about the computer is that we can make upgrades, we can make changes. So that is another reason I lean towards the Dell XPS 15. Thank you again for tuning into this video. I hope this has helped you with your decision. If you're curious about the exact model I purchased, you can grab that in the links below. That is an affiliate link, like I said, and that will give me a small commission, which helps out this channel, but it's no additional cost to you. And I really appreciate that. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. This has been an episode helping you in the graphic design industry. And I will see you here on the next one.